Warning before reading this video, I just want to say that these are my own thoughts. I'm not stating this as facts. I'm just putting that out there. So, here we go. The question we've all been asking ourselves. Which one is the most strongest and most capable, Digidestined? I'm only picking from the anime in this list. Um, surely the mangas or game Digidestined could be stronger, but I do not have enough knowledge of them to, well give you guys that information, so I'm only gonna focus on the anime Digidestined. So which one of this season 1 through 6 Digidestined is the, well, strongest and most capable Digidestined? In my opinion, there's only three choices. Masaru, Takuya, or Koji and Takato, so technically it's four, but yeah, three. Why you ask? Well, to be honest, these are the four guys that had to endure the most while being a Digidestined. We can start with Takato. His strength and willpower is so big that he was able to merge into one with this Digimon. To do this, I would imagine you need endurance and a whole lot of self-control over your mind to sustain this form. Imagine the power he needs to endure when Gallantmon becomes a Crimson Mode. Just saying, he's holding together a Holy Knight Digimon. Masaru likewise. His will and strength is so big that Masaru himself is able to harm Digimon just by punching them himself. He doesn't merge together with his Digimon though, but I would say that he was a small part of the Burst Digivolution creation, I would say. Um, not gonna go too deep into that, but yeah, I think he was a small part of that creation. Or he was a link to that creation at least. Which also made the rest of the cast able to do this also. Takuya and Koji? Already from the start we could see that controlling a spirit took some self-control. We saw the struggle each Digidestined had to sustain the Digimon mode, especially going into a beast-type spirit. Now, with that said, we have to start removing someone. Which is a hard choice because every single character are special in their own way. So, but the first digit destined to go has to be Takato. Even though he merged into a Digimon like the Frontier Cast did, and even surpassed the standard Mega Evolution, it still isn't enough to take the first place as the most powerful and capable digit destined. Because to be honest, he couldn't have reached the level he did without Granny. So, where does this leave us? I think you all know. Masaru is not the strongest digit destined. Takuya and Koji is. Masaru for sure is a special guy, with the ability to attack Digimon with his own fists and actually hurting them? That means he would actually go pretty far in the digital world, without a Digivice and his partner. Plus his Digimon is able to burst Digivolve, which is also a big thing for him, because he managed to get his Digimon past Mega Level. So that's good reason also. The problem with Masaru though, is that he's way too hot tempered to actually have succeeded. Eventually, I think actually Masaru would have met his downfall. He would have taken water over his head and just not been able to make it. So I think it speaks for itself. Sure, it might be unfair to compare, since the Digimon Frontier kids actually technically are Digimon. But they are Digidestined, as much as everyone else. Heck, I even want to say that their role in the digital universe is bigger than anyone else's. Point being, like I said, the amount of willpower it took to control a beast Digimon alone shows how strong they had to be let alone controlling Emperor Greymon and Magna Garurumon with several spirits combined. They had to do everything themselves, without the help of a partner. Sure, they do combine at the end, but up until then they stayed in the battle on their own. So because of the strong willpower and determination alone to keep the Digimon body intact, I declared Takuya and Koji as the most capable Digidestined. By willpower, power, and by a general success to survive. Finishing this off, um, I know many of you are asking, but why didn't you pick Taiki? He's obviously like the most perfect Digidestin out there. You can create Shotman X7 Superior Mode. I have a small news flash for you, if that's like thing you have in your mind. Um, if you do watch this last episode on Cross Wars, uh, yes, Taiki does have the Digivice that actually does Digifuse all the Digimon. Or does he? Because he actually asks for help from the rest of the gang to, like, make him able to pull this off. So every person in that season actually puts up their Digivice. So we do not know for sure if Taiki actually did this on his own, or that the power of all the Digivices made Taiki's Digivice able to superfuse, Digivolve, or everything. So I'm not counting Taiki as a reliable source to put on a most capable and powerful Digidestined list. Uh, I would actually go as far as saying that Tagiru. I hope I'm not stepping on someone's toes here. Uh, Takiru um, is actually just as powerful as Taiki. Up! I'm, I'm leaving now, because I'm feeling like the stakes and the pitchforks are coming with, uh, coming towards me now. So, But I would say this, Taiki is suited for the best leader. That's what I'm saying. So write in the comments what your top 4 or 5 list is. Uh, what is the most capable and uh, yeah, greatest digit destined?